This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. It means so much to us. There's so much more I want to say, but it's just really hard. I just want to thank Molly for always being there for me. I'll always be here for you. Thank you. They were brought together by tragedy, but the families of Lauren Calvillo and Christopher White can feel that justice was served after former Latin Count member Eduardo Luciano was ordered to serve three life sentences for his role in a 2015 shooting in a vigil that left Calvillo and White dead. While Mr. Luciano did not pull the trigger of the gun that fired the bullets that struck Lauren and Christopher, the evidence at trial showed that he was criminally responsible for their deaths. In summary, here are some of the highlights of what that tr of what the what was shown at trial. That he was a leader, a jefe in the uh, Jackson Street Latin King set. That he had personally observed the June 29th vigil, and he and others decided that the vigil presented an opportunity for the Latin Counts to shoot at members of a rival street gang. Luciano was also found guilty of conspiracy to participate in racketeering activity, conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute and distribute cocaine and marijuana, and two counts of using a firearm to commit murder. Hammond Mayor Thomas McDermott's State of the City address highlighted downtown redevelopment and growing opportunities for business, all while the city deals with a tightening financial environment. I've been mayor for 21 years and this is probably one of my most challenging years, McDermott said. The mayor discussed the impact of Hard Rock Casino on Hammond's Horseshoe Casino. It's harder when you're $7 million shorter than you were three years ago, McDermott said in the annual address at Dynasty Banquets. And in sports, the Purdue Northwest hockey team has won 17 of its last 18 games, the most recent coming on Tuesday in a 6-2 win over Concordia. The Pride were supposed to take on number 13 Calvin on Friday at Bulldog Park in Crown Point in an outdoor matinee. However, due to warm forecasted temperatures, the game has been canceled. The Pride will be in action, though, against Calvin in Grand Rapids, Michigan on Saturday. To read up on more local news and headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.